All right, guys, I have two things that are very exciting right now. Uh, one is this new fork that I got. This is the RockShox Boxer fork. This is brand new. And um, I'm not gonna be using this on my Suron, but I'm gonna be using on this Suron, which is the Suron uh, Lightbee S, which is equivalent to the X160 in the, in the States. And the second one that I'm very excited about is after waiting five months for my new rear shock, it has finally arrived and let me show you what it is. And this is the EXT Arma V3 shock. And I will say this EXT shock is such a big improvement from my stock shock, as well as the Rock Shocks Vivid that I broke uh, a few months ago. So I'm very happy with this new shock. It's, uh, I don't know if it was worth the wait. It was a very long wait of five months. Uh, I was wondering if it was ever gonna come. It kept on getting delayed and delayed and delayed. But it's here and um, I have to say it's way different from anything that I tried on, on the Suron. So far on the Suron, I've tried the stock shock um, and also the Vivid, the Fox float shock. And I have to say, the EXT performs far better than all of them. It's very hard to translate the feeling of a shock into a video, but uh, I'll, I'll try my best to demonstrate it. Like the stock shock and the fox shock and the vivid shock, they all, to a point, it felt a bit like a very nice mountain bike setup. Very plush, very poppy, very light. Uh, but this EXT shock, there's something about the compression and the rebound where it feels just like my KTM. It feels very deep, even though the travel is the same. The way it comes out from the stroke, it's very smooth. And, and because it's so smooth on the way out, it's able to track a lot better on, on rough surfaces. I don't know if you will be able to tell, but let me just kind of do like a push demonstration on the bike and compare it to my KTM as well. I realize this is a terrible demonstration of how the shock feels, but let me tell you, it feels just like this bike on the Suron, which is a huge improvement. So before I was more kind of bouncing off the object, trying to jump everything, um, trying to deflect off all the bumps, but now um, the bike just wants to be glued to the ground I don't know if that's a good thing for everybody, but for me it, I, I just have so much traction like in the rock gardens. I have so much traction uh, When I'm going over roots, it's just glued to the ground whereas before I would have to jump the roots to, to avoid everything so I guess if you like being poppy um, maybe stick with what you got but if you like traction and just going faster, I think EXT is the way. Now to rank all the shocks that I've tried on the Suron, uh, I haven't tried every option out there, but I've tried a few. On the bottom is, of course, the stock shock. And a little better than that is a RockShox Vivid coil shock. And then on top of the RockShox, there's the Fox DHX. Uh, which felt a lot better than the Vivid, to be honest. And of course, on top it is the EXT shock. It is way smoother than anything that I've tried. It really does feel more like an enduro bike or motocross bike uh, as to a mountain bike. Now, if you're a mountain biker, you know EXT has been making really good products uh, and the reviews are incredibly good. The only downside of EXT shocks is the price. Uh, depending on where you live, uh, it's gonna be different, but it's gonna be over $1,000. The EXT shock that I'm using right now, it's actually a mountain bike shock that happens to be the same length as a stock Suron shock. However, EXT is going to be soon releasing a shock designed just for the Suron. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to change from the one I have. Um, I'm just guessing uh, stronger hardwares, uh, little beefed up components, uh, which will make it heavier, which doesn't really matter for the Surons. So if you want a beefed up version of what I have, uh, it's a great time to put your order in because I think they're taking pre-orders. And from what I read, they're gonna be shipping out in January or February. If you're looking to get the top of the line shock for your Suron, I think EXT definitely should be one of your options. Okay, I gotta finish up installing the boxer fork on this bike. 
So I'll see you in the next video.